well, I'm on Facts of Mars. And the first part of this video, I'm going to deal with this Forbes article on YouTube demonetization, written by an obvious computer geek named Eric King. And then we're going to deal with, I'm going to show you something that's going to surprise you. Well, it may not actually surprise me, but I don't know. Well, the big controversial stories over what past few months has been demonetization content on YouTube. You know that, the adpocalypse is that YouTubers who deal with controversial subjects matter. Video games, gun reviewers, and historians as nervous advertisers pause their ad campaigns well. YouTube scrambles for solution. Uh, Mr. Eric Kane, sir, I don't think you understand something. Advertisers uh, advertise for Hollywood movies that are full of guilt all the time. They don't have any problem doing that. This is something else. This is about censoring us, uh, little people. For some kind of content creators, the past few months have been such a rough stretch that when they turn Patreon, a website that allows musicians, YouTubers, and other creative types to offer a subscription service for their fans. Other skip crowd fan funding and find that YouTube Red and 999 subscription service Google offers can help to make up the difference in lost advertising revenue. Some others remain mysteriously unscathed. Well, Eric, they won't let me have enough views to make any money anyway, so all it does is sit there and it pisses me off every day of the week. The apocalypse began over two separate incidents. Don't believe this. I don't think this guy understands the true meaning of this. The first was when it came to light and terrorist groups like his Hezbollah were using YouTube to upload and monetize videos promoting terrorism. Well, that could have been dealt with separately. The second occurred when Felix PewDiePie uh, I'm just going to call him PewDiePie, made a video that included men that he paid to hold signs that read Death to All Jews. Not a smart thing to do. PewDiePie insisted his video was satirical in nature and has since apologized. But since his channel remains the largest on YouTube, and since he has partnered with Disney's Maker Studios at the time and worked closely with YouTube Red, on original content, the backlash was intense, and the reverberations were felt throughout the YouTube community. <coughs> the two revelations combined spooked advertisers and resulted in downturn in revenue for many content creators has been brutal. I spoke with YouTube, and while they say their advertisers are returning their also emphasize how important it is for content creators to feel monetization. I can't even do that because I don't get enough views. How's that fair to me? It doesn't matter. I have appealed it in the past, but now they're not allowing me to appeal it. A new yellow demonetization icon is when they have the video manager that allows creators to see when one of their videos has been flagged. This indicates that the video is in something of purgatory and the appeal may result in video being monetized once more. Now I'm going to make a point here. Uh, Mr. Eric Kane, sir, 
Here's what you have to understand. Uh, regardless whether they're using, they're using humans or they're using uh, a computer algorithm, they're still responsible for what they're doing. If, if this amounts to law breaking, uh, if, if this amounts to law breaking, then it's people that are going to be in jail, not the computer. That uh, coincides with something I'm going to show you in a minute. Here's how the company put it in a recent blog post. We heard questions about the monetization status is applied so quickly after upload, including with unlisted private videos. This is because we went in the first few hours of video upload, we use machine learning to determine if a video meets our advertising friendly guidelines. That is a lie. You are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. I'm going to uh, show the reason I say that in a minute. This also applies to scheduled live streams where our systems look at title, description, thumbnail, and tags even before the stream goes live. We know our system doesn't always get it right, so if you see a little icon in your video manager and feel our automated system has made a mistake, please appeal. As noted above, an appeal will get sent to a human reviewer and their decisions help our systems to get smarter over time. Leaving the video and re uploading won't help. Now that I can believe. So, I'm going to show you the little surprise here. Class action lawsuit, Google, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, GoFundMe, and Patreon. Yay! Uh, this is on change.org, and believe it or not, I actually signed it. Normally, I test change.org, but sometimes you got to work with those whom you detest. Uh, YouTube is stealing millions of dollars and millions from channel owners in ways of stealing ad revenue. When videos are monetized, they are running the ads, leading the views, and comments left on channels and then demeaning channel success by subtracting thousands of views per channel to steal their revenue. We've been robbed by so many many thousands of dollars. They have tampered with accounts, closed accounts, deleted subscribers, views, entire channels. They've reached their own contract with channel owners. And that's my point, is I think this is a breach of contract. And sitting there hiding behind a computer program isn't going to be uh, caught it. For example, uh, in Europe, the Europeans, I have to give them credit, they don't screw around. The Europeans have been uh, suing Google for some serious money for the longest time now. It's freaking great, I'm enjoying this. They have, they have kicked Google right in the rear end, in the dorsal posterior. This woman's uh, claiming embezzlement and all sorts of things. So, there is hope on the horizon. I at least signed her petition. I think that's a good thing to do. Uh, And change.org, class, uh, class action lawsuit against multiple websites, breach of contract, triple damages, lead defendants, YouTube. I'm all for these people. Huh? This is a good thing. So there you have it, folks. Maybe something will come with this, maybe there won't. I wish her well. I'm Artifacts Mars, thanks for watching.